I have a super secret invitation to give you today. And oh my goodness, it's going to blow your mind. Fatima, do you have any guesses of what you think the invitation is for? Um, a party? A party? No, it's not for a party. Mariam, what do you think the invitation is for? It's real. It's going to, it's going to blow your mind. I mean, not actually blow your mind, but like, you're going to really like it. Mm, maybe like a trip somewhere. I don't know. A trip somewhere. Okay. So the invitation is actually not that it's a good invitation, but it's not a trip somewhere. <laughs> I'm inviting you and all of your friends to a special story time program on the Noor Kids YouTube channel. And it's gonna be amazing. That sounds so much fun. Yeah. Fatima, do you want a little sneak peek or a big sneak peek? A big one. A big sneak peek. All right, sounds good. When I was seven years old, I watched the best movie ever. Do you guys know what, story, what movie that is? Lion King. <laughs> the Lion King. The Lion King was my favorite movie in the whole world. Fatima, it was the story of a little lion cub named Simba. Now Simba loses his mom and dad and learns to live without them. Now this movie was the best. It was full of drama. Everything the light touches is your kingdom. It was full of action. Stampede in the gorge, Simba's in it. And it was full of songs. Okay, I'm not gonna do it again. But when I was seven years old, during show and tell at my classroom, I remember standing on top of my chair, singing this song for my entire class because I loved it so much. Now, my mom knew that I loved it, too. So one day when I came home from school and I ran up to my bedroom and put my hand on the doorknob, twisted it, and pushed the door open, I saw that there was a Lion King box sitting on my bed. As I got closer towards it, I thought to myself, what in the world is this? It's about the size of a shoebox and it said the Lion King on it. And when I opened it up, there was a fully functioning Simba action figure. Now, Simba was a lion, so this action figure would move up and down and it had a little button on the back. When you press the button, it would go roar. Fatima, can you do a roar? <laughs> nice. All right. So I would take this with me everywhere. I would go outside on the grass, and when we would see some birds, we'd press the button, and it would go roar. <laughs> At night, when my mom would make dinner, and we would get dessert, um, I would put Simba on the little table and I'd be like, hey mom, Simba needs some dessert too. But of course Simba's a lion and couldn't eat, so actually I would eat it. Anyways, I loved Simba a lot. Even at night, before I would go to bed, I would tuck myself in, Simba would next be next to me, and I would say, "Assalamu alaikum Simba, have a good night. And then Simba would look at me and he'd be like, roar, because I mean, that's all he could say. <laughs> Anyways, at about that time, something interesting started happening at my masjid. There was a new group of people who started to come. 
They spoke a different language than I spoke. They wore different types of clothing. They even ate different types of food. These people were called refugees. Fatima, can you say refugee? Refugee. Do you know what a refugee is? Uh, orphans? Kind of. Mariam, do you want to help her out? So um, there are people that have to flee their own country and come live somewhere else because they have lost their, um, their home from like war or persecution or something like that. Yeah. So imagine there's some people who live somewhere, okay? And because there's a war or because there's a big tornado or because there's a big flood, they have to leave everything. Their clothes, their toys, their delicious food in the refrigerator. They have to leave everything and come to a new country. Now, these people were refugees coming to my state, Minnesota, from a place called Kosovo, okay? Now, at my masjid, the imam did something a little bit funny. He went to the front of the masjid and he held up a plastic bag. Now, when he held up this plastic bag, he looked at all of us and he said, boys and girls, today I'm going to be giving each and every one of you a plastic bag. And the reason why is I want you to go home, find the thing that you love the most, put it in the plastic bag and bring it to the masjid. We are going to be giving it as a gift to the refugees. Now, when... He gave us these plastic bags. It was really easy for my older brother. My older brother went into the garage. He opened up the plastic bag. He found his baseball glove. He put it inside. He ran into the kitchen and he said, here, mommy, mom, this is what I love the most. For my older sister, it was also very easy. She ran up to her bed. She opened up the plastic bag. She put in her stuffed animals one by one by one. She brought them downstairs. She held it up and she said, Hey, mom, this is what I love the most. Fatima, do you know which toy I love the most? The Simba toy. It was the Simba toy. I remember walking up to my bedroom. I put my hand on the doorknob, I twisted it open, and I opened up the door. Simba was sitting on my bed. I looked at him, and Simba looked at me. I got closer towards him, I opened up the plastic bag, my hands started to shake and tremble. I went and I tried grabbing him and I picked him up and my hands started to shake even more and then sweat started dripping down my cheek and my throat was starting to feel dry and coarse and I tried putting him in but I just couldn't do it. I loved him too much. I put Simba to the side. Instead, I saw that there was a Thomas the Train puzzle that was in the corner of the room, and I thought to myself, hey, maybe I'll just give the Thomas the Train puzzle. So I opened up the plastic bag, I put in the Thomas the Train puzzle, and I brought it downstairs. I said, here, mommy, this is what I like, but she said, not so fast. I said, what, mom? She said, I mean, you were supposed to give the toy that you love the most. Why didn't you give away Simba? And she got me. It was a really good point. I was supposed to give away Simba, and I didn't. So I began thinking, what, what could I possibly say to my mom? And then, Fatima, I got it. I said, hey, mom. She said, yeah. I said, mommy. She said, yeah. I said, mom. She said, yes, I mean, what? I said, mom, do you love me? She said, yeah, I mean, I love you. I said, do you love me a lot, a lot? I said, yeah. She said, yeah, I mean, I love you a lot, a lot. I said, mommy, do you love me more than anything in the whole wide world? And she said, yeah, I mean, I love you more than anything in the whole wide world. And then I said, well, if we are supposed to give out of what we love the most, why don't you give me away? <laughs> and do you know what my mom did? 
<laughs> she she gave me away. No, I'm just kidding. She didn't give me away. She didn't give me away. No, on that day, my mom opened up the Quran and she shared to me a promise, a promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our Lord tells us that when we give out of what we love the most, Allah, our creator, gives us something so much better. Now, Fatima, on that day, I did give away. I did. I gave away my Simba action figure. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me something so much better. Do you know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me? No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me the opportunity to share this story with you and all of your friends today. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. That was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was such a good yeah. story. <laughs> okay, but it doesn't end there because I want to take this idea of giving out of what you love the most to the next level. And the way that I'm going to take it to the next level is I am going to be reading a story out of this book called Strong Muslim. Doesn't this look like an awesome book? Yeah, yeah. it's so cool. So Noor Kids follows a story of four characters, Amin, Shirin, Asad, and Amira. They live in a city called Maple Grove, and they go to a school called Northport Elementary. So first you see Shireen over here. She's preparing. It looks like a fruit salad. She's a traveler. She loves to explore all around the world because she wants to be just like her mom who works for National Geographic. Then there's Amin. He's a sports star. He loves baseball and soccer and football. He's got an older brother named Hasib who's in college, but the one thing about Amin is sometimes he does stuff without thinking about it, and because of that, he gets into trouble. Then there's Asad. Asad's a scientist. Asad likes to break things apart just to figure out how to put them back together again. And he has a little baby sister named Yusra. And then there is Amira. Amira's an artist. She loves exploring all of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beauty through art and poetry and painting. Now, I'm going to be reading you a story. Wait, you know what? How about instead of reading you a story, I invite you and all of your friends to watch the story on our channel, uh, on the Noor Kids YouTube channel. You can watch it and all of our other programs there. What do you think, Fatima? Yeah, and like, and like I said, I have a little sister named Yusra. Um, I have a friend named Yusra. Are you serious? Is she cute as a button? <laughs> yes. She is. Oh my goodness. I love that name, Yusra. You know, I have a little baby. Her name is Kothar. And I was thinking about naming her Yusra because I love that name so much. Um, so I need to ask you, Sister Fatima, what did you think of the story? It was really good. I, and I liked it a lot because the lesson was really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, was there a favorite part that you had of the story? Yes, the one that you will just stand up on your chair and just sing this song. That was kind of funny, wasn't it? <laughs> Sister Mariam, what did you think of the story and what did you think of Brother Amin? I think it was a very good story, and um, I think children can learn a lot from it. We can learn a lot from it. My favorite part was when um, you said that you gave away your toy Simba, but in, in return you got something way better than that, and that was to tell the story to everyone else so that they can also learn from it. <laughs> and, you know, honestly, it's true because Allahu Akbar now, like with newer kids, alhamdulillah, we have like thousands of kids that we have the ability to tell stories to every single week and i think about how allah has blessed us because it is a real blessing i feel super duper blessed that we have the ability to do it from my home this is actually my home by the way i know you're at your house yeah. i'm at my house this is um this is where i live now um maria what would you tell your followers about Noor kids um, to my followers, I think all of you should definitely check out Noor Kids and watch the stories and um, because as you can see just from these like 
I think half an hour was it. We learned so much from this fun story. So imagine if you watch Noor Kids videos, how much you can learn from them and it will be amazing. So make sure to subscribe to Noor Kids and watch um, their story videos with Brother Amin. <laughs> <laughs> alhamdulillah alhamdulillah and sister mariam and sister fatima i have to tell you my daughter loves watching you guys uh some of your videos about just doing things like traveling and going to hawaii but also things like reading the quran uh, because my daughter is man trying so hard to memorize this holy book and we're so blessed to have um, role models like you. So inshallah, subscribe to the channel and um, I can't wait to um, see you guys and your friends in our programs in the future. Inshallah, definitely. Jazakumullah khairan for sharing such a wonderful story with us today. Yeah, Jazakumullah khairan.